Coach Daniel Hammer at Tennis here, and this video is all about what's in my bag, whether you're a tournament player, a club player, or a USDA league player, or maybe just a recreational player. I'm going to go over the things and why I carry these items in my bag and how they're going to help you be better prepared, have a better time you're out on a court, whether it's one match or a tournament weekend, to ultimately help you win more matches. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to the Hammer Tennis channel and hit that bell button so that way you're getting notified of all the new content that's coming out on the Hammer Tennis channel. So let's go ahead and see what's in my bag. All right, so I carry this Babylon um, tour bag here and we're not gonna get into all the features or anything that this bag's got, but the reason I carry this bag is that it's large enough to accommodate all of the things that I need to carry with me, whether it's playing a match or whether it's teaching lessons or if it's just going out and doing a practice session. So this bag's got enough room. So you wanna make sure you have a bag that is big enough to carry the items that you need in your bag, but at the same time, uh, you wanna have a bag that does is functional and something that you like to carry so make sure that you've got an appropriate bag. So obviously the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to have in your bag is whatever your tennis player needs and that is your rackets. So that's pretty much a no brainer. Um, but you do wanna make sure that your bag can accommodate all of the rackets that you're gonna carry. So, um, you know, if you're just a recreational player you maybe just have one racket, you may not need quite as big of a bag. You want to at least make sure you're carrying two rackets, as most of you know. Um, if you're a tournament player, you want to carry more. Um, sometimes I carry two rackets, sometimes I carry up to four rackets. Um, also, too, you want to have your rackets maybe strung at different tensions or even with different strings, just depending on the weather or depending on what surface you're playing on or even against who you're playing. Um, currently, right now, I've got these rackets, uh, one strung with Bella RP, RPM Blast, and the other strung with Luis Cannon Silver String. Um, they play a little bit different. I like how both of them feel, so I tend to carry both rackets trim with that. So make sure you have enough rackets for whatever match, type of match you're playing. The next thing is pretty obvious that um, a lot of people, I don't understand why they wouldn't carry it. A lot of clubs have towels. Um, sometimes tournaments do, but just to be sure, you pretty much want to carry a towel. And this is a uh, towel I've had forever. You know, it's not just like a little teeny tiny towel, but it's also not a giant beach towel. Um, but you want to have a towel that's a decent size so that way if it does get sweaty, it's still going to be able to absorb sweat. Um, you might be able to um, use this to sit on. Sometimes you never know. The benches may be wet. You know, you, just carrying a towel is always a good idea. So you want to make sure you've got a towel in your bag. The next thing that you want to carry that seems, you know, pretty obvious to a lot of people is just carry some tennis balls. So we're tennis players, carry some tennis balls. Um, you know, if you're going to go hit with your friends, don't be the guy that's never got any tennis balls. Um, you know, you want to be the person sometimes too that supplies the balls, but you know, carry a couple cans of tennis balls. If you go to, if you're a tournament player, you want to have some tennis balls, that way you can warm up. You may not always have access to balls to warm up. Even if you're playing in a USTA league, just carry some balls that way you can hit around, but carry some tennis balls. The next thing that's pretty obvious again is you want to carry water. Um, I typically put my water, I like to use um, these Nalgene bottles. I put ice, water in there. I even have some insulation that I can put around these bottles. So I carry at least a couple of these tournaments now a lot of them will have coolers on the court or clubs have coolers on the court that's fine but I also always carry like a backup like a Propel some Gatorade something's got a little flavoring because you know sometimes the water maybe the water didn't taste good so you want to carry something that you're gonna you know that you like that you're gonna drink um, maybe even something with a little sugar just something to give you a little pick-me-up but you want to have some sort of a drink in your bag just in case you run out of water um, you've got that backup but I also like to carry these Nalgene bottles um, because they're, they're really hard. Um, and so that way too, I sometimes will put cereal or snacks or trail mix, stuff like that, that I don't want to get smashed up. I can also use that in this bottle um, if I've got that in my bag. So you want to carry water and a bottle. That's always something good to have in your bag. So the next thing that we're going to want to carry is your 
tennis shoes seems pretty obvious again, but we're going to carry our tennis shoes. Um, I like to keep my tennis shoes in my bag. Um, I don't like wearing my tennis shoes out in the parking lot, in the car. Maybe it's raining that day, and then your shoes are all wet. Maybe it's snowing, and your shoes are all wet. You're going to the court. You don't want to get muddy. You don't want to track stuff onto the court. Maybe you're playing on clay. Now you take that clay, and then it gets all over your car. You don't... So... I wear my tennis shoes on the tennis court, and then when I'm done, I have a pair of sandals or even just another pair of athletic shoes that I'll take with me. But you want to have an extra pair of shoes that that way, after you're done playing your match, you can take your shoes off, put them back in your bag. That way you also know where your shoes are. Um, and then you've got an extra something else to put on. I like sandals because if my feet are all sweaty, I don't necessarily want to put them straight into another pair of shoes. I can put them into some sandals. I can wear socks. I don't have to wear socks. Whatever I want to do with these sandals, and I'm still going to be all right. Um, that way my feet can dry out. But you want to make sure you've always got your shoes in your bag. One time when I was playing in college, I thought my shoes were in my bag because I didn't check and showed up to match and didn't have any tennis shoes. That was an interesting match. That's another story for another day. So, the other thing that you want to carry along those lines is an entire set of clothes. So, some people will just carry extra shirts, but you want to also carry extra socks and even extra shorts or skirts or whatever it is that you're wearing. Um, you want to make sure that you've got an entire set clothes, um, even maybe some extra underwear or something like that, but you want to make sure you've got an entire set. If you sweat through your shirts, you want to make sure you have maybe more of those, but you never know what could happen during a match. You could have, you could wear a hole in your sock and now you've got no socks. You want to have an extra pair of socks. Something could happen where you need to switch out your shorts. If you're super sweaty, go to the locker room and change that out. Or then even after your match, say you're, you're sweaty, you've played on clay, maybe you're dirty whatever it is, you've got an extra set of clothes that you can change into, and then that way you're not a filthy, miserable ride home. So bring an extra change of clothes. The other thing that you want to carry in your bag is maybe you already have a hat on when you go to the match, but you're going to want to carry an extra hat. Again, you can sweat through your hat. Your hat can break. I've had the back strap of the hat break before, and then you don't have a hat. Yeah, it's not not that big smash up but an extra hat you want to have an extra hat in your bag the other thing that kind of goes along with um, clothing that sort of thing is and I, you want to carry some sunglasses in your bag um, I don't always play in sunglasses I think it can be hard to see but maybe you're between matches and you're waiting outside and you want to have some sunglasses maybe you're just sitting around or maybe you do like playing with sunglasses maybe it's an exceptionally sunny day that day um, you want to have some sunglasses though just in case uh, that way you do have the option of, of having some sunglasses on if you're um, playing tournaments another good thing to carry or even if you are just playing leagues or whatever but um, I like to carry a jump rope you see a lot of tournament players, they carry jump ropes. That way I can jump rope before a match. It's an all total body warm up. You don't have to go crazy with it, but if you got a jump rope or something that can get you warmed up, that way you're already moving before you go on the court. That's gonna help you get ready before your opponent. So carry a jump rope. The other thing that you may wanna carry, um, you know, Maybe if you're a league player and you go out to the courts early, you wait around, or even a tournament player, just maybe some cones or something, but just some practice aids. Um, if I'm just sitting around with my friends, you know, but if I've got some cones, you never know when some can cones come in handy. I like these flat discs because I can carry, I've got about 10 right here, and there's a very small stack. You've seen these in some of the other videos. We use them. Um, they're easy to practice servers. They're great for doing some rally drills. It's just a practice aid that's really easy to carry, lightweight, and I'll just take a whole lot of space in my bag. So I always keep those around. Also, too, you know, to use those with students. So I did carry those maybe a little bit more just because of teaching lessons and stuff like that. But some practice aids, cones, or some other thing like that, you may want to carry those in your bag. So the next thing that you're going to want to carry, 
I've got this big book. Um, my Encore students, they all know we uh, published the uh, book of knowledge, but this is the, uh, if you want to carry some paper, something you can write something down, you make sure you've got a pen, um, something that you can write with. If you're taking lessons, you want to take some notes. If you're a tournament player, one of the best things you can do is when you're playing a match, after your match, you sit there and you do some analysis on the match. There's different things that you should be writing down, what you've done well, maybe what you need to work on, stuff like that when it's fresh in your mind. Even league player, you got a, you got a USTA match and you know, really working on improving. These are some things where you can make notes. You want to have some paper. It doesn't have to be a big, big binder like this. Um, I carry this big binder. This is my teaching binder. So there's different stuff in here that I go over with the students. And they've seen this, but I've got a pen. And the other thing too, if you've got a pen and some paper, even non-tense related, sometimes you, you're talking to somebody, maybe don't have your phone with you, and you just need to write down a phone number for a contact, or you need something like that. It's always handy to have a pen and a paper around. So it doesn't have to be a big binder like this, but you want to make sure you're carrying um, a pen, like a notebook, so take some notes. It's a great way to remember things. So the next thing that you're going to carry, and I put this, this is some of the smaller stuff, so I put it into this different pocket, but um, we got extra grip. You know, you guys know when you're playing a match, if it's sweaty, if it's hot, you might go through a couple grips in a set. So depending on the weather, make sure you've got enough grips, make sure you've got what, however many you think you need, whether it's a 10 pack, 30 pack, just three pack, but you want to have some extra grip because once you have the grip, you can sweat it through, it's slippery, you know how it is, it's unusable, so make sure you've got some extra grip and some grip tape, that way you can put it on. I use the rubber bands on top of the bracket, so it's good grip, but every now and then your rubber band will break. So it's always a good idea to also carry some additional uh, grip tape, that way you can use that on there. And even on your replacement grip, it may sometimes come with, so you've got some extra grip tape for that. So grip tape also is good. It's a nice stretchy, like electrical type tape. This is, it can come in handy for other things too. I've even used grip tape for taping up, you get cut. And I've used that when I don't have this, athletic tape. So this is another great thing to carry, is athletic tape. If you've got blisters on your fingers, athletic tape, blisters on your feet, athletic tape. Maybe you've got a minor, maybe you sort of hurt something. Right on the spot, maybe you're down and out, and you haven't have to forfeit the match, but you've already got athletic tape, you can tape it up. You never know, athletic tape comes in handy for all kinds of things. I even see people put athletic tape, use it on like head tape with the racket. They've got a spot that they're really tearing up, but athletic tape comes in handy for a lot of uses as well. So I carry some athletic tape. The other thing I've got in here, you want to carry sunscreen I can't go over enough how important it is to wear sunscreen so make sure you're wearing sunscreen when you're out there get the tops of your ears back of your neck you want to make sure you get sunscreen so carry sunscreen so the other thing that you want to make sure you carry um, I don't always know if a lot of people suggest carrying food but I always carry food on the court have it with me no matter what. I typically carry fruit snacks. I like fruit snacks because they taste good. They're small. I don't have to eat the whole bag at once. They are mainly sugar, but yeah, it'll give me a quick pick me up if I'm kind of tired. It's kind of a little morale booster to sit there and eat something that tastes good. So I like fruit snacks. And then uh, again, a lot of my Encore students, they know I got, I like Pop Tarts to be honest, and so I've even got a Pop Tart container. That's how serious I'm about the Pop Tarts. But I like Pop Tarts because this is again is another food that extreme heat, extreme cold doesn't really seem to affect it. You can also do um, like these uh, trail mix type bars, stuff like that if you like that better. I like Pop Tart because it's real, it's filling, it's got carbs, it's got sugar. It's a good pick me up. I also feel like I'm eating something substantial. I might not eat the whole thing on a changeover. Maybe I'll break it in half and only eat half of you know, one of the pop tarts um, on a changeover. Again, I, eat, I got some fruit snacks, I got some pop tarts. That way, if I'm just really you know, long, maybe it's a three, three set match, something like that, you've got some food to keep you going. You don't want to have to um, forfeit a match because you're just too tired to get some energy. 
myself. Carry some food. I always suggest carrying food on the court. The other thing that you want to probably carry in your bag is some change. So a lot of times you're playing a match, you're waiting, you're waiting at the club, you're waiting at the park, whatever it is. Maybe you didn't bring the food, maybe you ran out of the water, but if you've got some change, a lot of times there's a vending machine around. I don't know how many times that, you know, you see people that are asking for change at a tournament because, you know, they want, to, they want some soda or something to drink. So make sure you've got some change in there that way you can snack if you need to three matches. It also comes in very handy. Um, so carry some change. <coughs> the other thing that I like to carry, um, kind of first aid wise, is a bottle of Advil. So, um, for ibuprofen, I like Advil, but you want to have some sort of anti-inflammatory. Um, you can take these even before your match. It'll kind of help you um, kind of head off any sort of problems that may rise up. But any any pains, the anti-inflammatory, the ibuprofen is really going to help. This is something that you want to make sure you've got some sort of um, pain medication if that's something that bothers you. The other thing too that I suggest carrying is some nail clippers. You want to have some nail clippers in your bag. It may be a fingernail, it may be a toenail. I've seen so many players pulling their shoe off, their sock off, they're in the middle of a match because their foot is jamming up against the front of their shoe. Um, you guys know how it is when you're sliding around with play, you're playing on hard court, your foot's jamming into your shoe sometimes. I don't know how many toenails that I've turned black and fallen off, but you want to have some toenails in case you've got a problem going on in the middle of the match. You don't want to have to worry about that. So that way you can get rid of, you know, if you've got something bothering you, you can take care of it. The other use too, obviously, is if you break the strings, you can't string them. An extra shock absorber. Um, I use shock absorbers, some people use rubber bands. You want to have an extra one. Sometimes these things fly out of your racket. You want to make sure you've got an extra so that way it's not driving you crazy if you don't have one and you're used to that. So an extra shock absorber. And then lastly, this is something that I tend to carry. I don't know a whole lot of other people that carry this, but I carry a little tube of shoe gift. Um, I will say I've had a couple of times when my shoe has, I just rub it to the point where your shoe literally breaks. Um, I've had that happen before. I put these up between matches, give them a little bit of time and let them dry. This is something that could come in handy. <clears throat> Not necessarily maybe during a match, but you may want to have something like that in your bag just in case. Um, maybe you're at a tournament and you need to pull your shoes up for the next match, the next day. Something can be So now I've shown you guys all the things that I carry in my bag. So put down in the comments below. Maybe there's some stuff that you guys are carrying that I don't have in my bag. I'd love to hear from you. Put down in the comments different things that maybe you're carrying that I'm not. Hopefully in this video you guys saw some things that you should be carrying or some things that you could be carrying to help make you better prepared for your matches or help you just have a better time when you're out there out on the court. So make sure to check out some of the other videos that we've got on the Hammer Tennis channel. So until next time guys, I'm Coach Daniel from Hammer Tennis.